If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos. The best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Chief Keith gets arrested in Mexico, and Kodak Black goes to court for more gun charges. Plus, Lil TJ goes in on the police. Let's talk hip hop. All right, so that was a clip of Chief Keith getting arrested in Mexico, right? Um, and this is crazy. So it's a lot of questions, and also there's not too many information um, about what's going on with Chief Keith right now. But here's what I know, okay? So all right, Chief Keith gets arrested um, in Mexico, and it seems like he was probably doing a show in Mexico, uh, very close to California, where he lives now, even though he's from Chicago. Um, last night, so he was doing a show, and I think that he was. Trying Trying to come back over the border from Mexico to the US, right? Because it doesn't look like it's like a random federale that's arresting Chief Keith. It's not the cops in uh, Mexico that arrested him. It kind of looks like Border Patrol arrested him, right? Um, in that case, then he was trying to come back from Mexico to the US. Maybe he had something on him and then Border Patrol arrested him, right? But Chief Keith is not a dumbass, so I don't think that he would, you know, try to come back from Mexico to the US with something on him when he could just get it from the US um, but also if you go out the country and you come back uh, they check everything you know customs they will check your whole record and if you have warrants um, even if it's for like a traffic ticket or something like that and you're trying to come back into the country uh, they check it they will arrest you right there right and the same thing happened to 6 9 when he came back from Europe uh, when he was trying to fly back into New York to JFK as soon as he landed in New York and customs checked him they arrested him and took him to Texas because he had like some fight with a kid in the mall right um, so I think that's what's going on. Also, you know, the cops in Mexico are super corrupt, right? And a lot of times they will pose as the police and not really be the police. Um, a lot of times they are the police, but they just want you to pay them a little bit of money, right? So we don't know exactly what's going on. And we also have not heard from Chief Keith uh, since, you know, he got arrested. So for all we know, he could be in the middle of the desert getting beat up by, you know, crooked federales, right? Um, but, you know, somebody, uh, uh, went on Twitter and said something to um, Chief Keefe's DJ and basically asked Chief Keefe's DJ, you know, why Chief Keefe got arrested. And his DJ said, uh, he all good, right? So I don't know, a very general statement, but he all good maybe means that they let him go and he's released and he's back home or he all good. Like at least he ain't in the middle of the desert getting beat up, uh, but he all good, right? He just has to clear some warrants. We don't know. Um, but anyway, that's what's going on for now. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. All right, so this is a picture of Kodak Black from uh, court yesterday, right? Um, and as y'all should know, uh, Kodak Black is spending three years in prison right now, right? And the whole situation is he's a convicted felon, uh, but then he went to, you know, some, you know, gun store in Florida and bought three guns and he filled out the form. And on the form, there's a thing that says, you know, if you're a convicted felon, you can't buy any firearms. And he checked the box and said that he's not a convicted felon. Uh, and then they sold him the firearms. They did the research after the fact and find, found out that he is a convicted felon and then they arrested him, right? Um, he pled guilty to that and he could have served like maybe three to five years, but they sentenced him to three years in prison, right? So he's sitting in prison right now just serving that sentence. But he had a few other legal issues before that, right? So also he got arrested in April uh, when he was, I think he was like in Detroit and he was trying to drive to like Boston or something like that, right? Um, so, you know, the Northeast and what happened, I guess GPS took him 
out of, you know, the U.S. and into Canada and then back down from Canada into Boston, Massachusetts, because that would have been the quickest way. But, you know, he was in a vehicle with a couple of other dudes. They had guns on them. So, yeah, they were able to leave the U.S. fine. But when they came back into the U.S., they got caught by Border Patrol um, and they got caught with a little bit of weed and four guns on them. And he got arrested for that, too. Right. So now Kodak Black went to court yesterday for that charge and he pled guilty saying that he had guns on him and he wasn't supposed to have the guns on him and the guns are his right um and it's crazy because for that he could serve three to seven years and he's already in jail serving three years for the other thing right but also the judge seems like they're going to be really lenient with kodak black and let him run um you know, serve those years concurrently. So what that basically means is not like he has to do three years for the first thing and then another three to seven years for the second thing, right? Because then he'll be in, you know, prison for a long time. Uh, but he basically gets to serve his sentence at the same time. So let's say, you know, they did give him three years for the first gun charge. Now let's say they give him two years for the second gun charge. Well, he'll be able to serve, you know, the, the years together all at the same time. So basically when he's done with three years in prison, he would have served the three years for that and then two years for the other thing too, right? Um, so it's all cool. But the whole situation is Kodak Black still has other charges pending in South Carolina too. So I don't know what's going on with that um but that was a old charge from like 2017 or something like that so we will have to see um also Kodak Black kind of wrote a letter to like all his fans basically said that you know they took away his commissary they took away his you know phone calls and his emails uh but they left him with his visits which is cool um and that he has to do 30 days in solitary confinement for the ceo uh incident that happened um and also that he has cash stashed away and that he wants one of his you know homeboys whoever knows where the stash is to go get like fifteen thousand dollars out of there and give it to his mom for her birthday right um which is cool whatever but like you know free kodak and everything that's just going on with him is really sad and it's crazy because this dude is really talented but you know he's also super hood right um but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments i got pulled over he's a ear over they just took my day i don't know why i gave my day i should never even let him get it nigga a rookie shut the fuck up Nigga, I'm look. Let's go. You go back to your car, stupid. Niggas violating me, bro. Then they pulled over me, her, for making a right turn, bro. I got my ID, everything. What's up? He just gave me three tickets. He said, you're about to come fly. You drive without a license. I got my permit, you heard? But look, you broke bitch. That's why you here. I'm going to pay my tickets, bro. Yeah. All right, so Lil TJ gets pulled over, right? And this is like classic New York speed trap kind of situation, right? It looks like Lil TJ is probably like in Manhattan, but he's from the Bronx. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. This is classic New York stuff. This is not the hip-hop police harassing Lil TJ because they know who he is, right? Um, this ain't none of that, right? This is just, you know, police really trying to get the general public. And Lil TJ just happened to be one of the people caught up in that, right? And basically... Basically what the police do is they kind of harass people, right? And because traffic moves so slow in New York, they pull over people on foot. Well, they're, the police are on foot and you're driving and you're just kind of sitting in traffic, whether you blast the music, you tense, make a turn or whatever, the police will be right there. And I'm telling you, they are walking like, I mean, traffic is so slow. If you walk up the street, you'll pass me. You feel me? Anyway, so the police could signal you while you sitting in traffic and they standing outside the car, pull over. Pull over when you get across the street. Pull over or when you get around the corner. Pull over, right? Um, it's happened to me a bunch of times. I've seen it mad times. And they'll stand there and they'll have like three, four, five cars back to back to back pulled over. Um, and it's clear. They just boop, boop. Have a good day, sir. Boop, boop. Have a good day, sir. Boop, boop. Have a good day, sir. And it's just like a speed trap. And how many tickets can they write within, you know, their shift, right? It's crazy and annoying. And it's literally like they're harassing the general public, right? And, I, you know, unpopular popular opinion but when Bloomberg was mayor of New York this type of shit wasn't happening because Bloomberg had money and he wasn't like trying to get money from all the citizens of New York 
But de Blasio, when he became mayor of New York, all of a sudden, there's mad traffic cameras and people getting pulled over and all this and that because he's trying to get revenue for the city because he's a broke-ass motherfucker, right? And little TJ seems like he's frustrated with it and he just starts cursing out the police, which, you know, hey, I don't blame him. But also, you black, you young, you a nigga, just be careful. But I feel your frustration, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Follow me at Johnny Fasting on Instagram and y'all already know what to do. Peace.